sky-high expectations and lofty goals for the BU women's hockey program as tonight they open their home slate of the new season when they welcome in the Merrimack College Warriors. And 13-2-3 and three in their last 18 games dating back to last year. Chance in front, banged home, and they score. On the rebound, it's Julia Neris with her first collegiate goal, and the Terriers lead 1-0. And that really shows you how confident that he is in his center depth. Merrimack shots and scores! In the high slot, quick shot right on rebound, chance and they score! Going to steer long, chance here for a 2 on one for Merrimack. Centering feed off the post, stays out, Schroeder batted it out off the top and it still stays out! Merrimack can't clear the zone. Quick one-time shot and a score! Off the end wall, it was Tarnowski. And that will do it. This one's going to end in a 2-2 tie here tonight in the home opener between Boston University and Merrimack. Craig White here with head coach Brian DeRocher and coach both top lines shut down defensively. I thought you guys did a good job against Grant Mentis. I thought the opposition's defense did a good job against Sammy and your top line. What did you see there on either side? Yeah, clearly it starts with goaltending. You know, there were kids who uh, played well on both ends of the ice. I think that, uh, you know, their goaltender, after having an injury a year ago, is back show showing people that she's a real good goaltender. Uh, I think both teams played, uh, you know, somewhat close to the best. We did get some real good opportunities, but uh, all in all, everybody's making it hard to, to get things done. You know, they had one that sort of had eyes there that, to start the game. The one went off the post. We were killing the penalty pretty well, and they threw it at the net from 60 feet and it uh, you know had about a seven person screen that seemed to go in and we might have made a little bit of a, an error uh, on the uh, the second one but they fought back you know Tosh got the goal and uh, you know just a good defensive battle uh, by both teams. Pretty physical game overall especially in the second and third periods you guys had such a good power play last year so did they would you prefer a game where the referees swallow their whistles kind of like they did tonight, or would you rather see more power plays be called given how good your extra man opportunities were last year? Yeah, I mean, in, in, in women's hockey, there's an awful lot of times when there's a puck up for grabs and two people are going to get it, and nobody gives up. So they, they both end up, you know, colliding just a little. Nobody's checking each other, but there is contact. And, uh, you know, when that happens, we don't really want penalties called in that situation. Somebody comes in and is, a, is deliberate. Somebody lowers a shoulder, turns a hip. That's a penalty, you know. Somebody uh, hits somebody along the wall in kind of an unsafe situation, and that's a penalty. But uh, when people play honest, I don't think there were high sticks today. I don't think there was a lot of tugging or hooking or tripping. It was just good old honest play, and there was uh, activity around the net. And, uh, you know, again, the officials did a great job. The kids played extremely hard. And, uh, yes, we had a good power play last year. Uh, we moved it around real well tonight. And, uh, you know, looked like we were going to cash in. But we didn't get that little tip or that little screen that uh, sometimes you need to finish your job. Thanks a lot, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you.